Welcome to episode one of the Bumpy Podcast. Um, yeah, this is an absolute like first episode, just send fo- like full send um, episode where I saw somebody else who started a podcast. I was inspired by it, and I was like, "Hey, we're gonna start this up." Um, there's some rules for this podcast that I just came up with. Uh, no editing. Uh, very necessary, especially since I'm sick this episode. It's gonna be great. You know, sneezes, coughs. Potentially, you know, I'm going to try not to do that, but I sound congested already, but I'm going to look back on this episode and be like, wow, this is going to be crazy because, uh, like I started, excuse me, I started with episode one right now and, um, I do have a topic for today, but, uh, I'm going to look back on episode one. It's going to be like, wow, what was I doing? Where did I start? Why did I do that? But it's going to be something pretty epic potentially, uh, (laughs) That leads me to my first topic for today, which is about consistency. All right, consistency is interesting because why would anyone do something for a long period of time? They must either really enjoy it or have the discipline to do it for that length of time. It's interesting because I am a person who is pretty impatient. I like to see tangible results for the work that I do which makes, uh, you know, basically any sort of long-term activity, long-term task or work uh, pretty difficult and pretty challenging because uh, I'm a person who starts something, does it for like two months, and then at the end of those two months, I'm like, I either get bored and I call it quits or I just kind of stop randomly. And yeah, so consistency is something that we're going to see if we can drive home with this podcast. Uh, In terms of how to set up a podcast, I don't really know much about podcasts, honestly. Uh, There's different variants on how you can do them. But basically for this one, we're just talking into a camera and um, (laughs) it's my laptop. So basically the audio kind of sucks. The video quality kind of sucks. But at the end of the day, it's me talking. Episode one, we'll learn as we go. And I'm excited for it. So We touched on consistency. We'll see if this podcast stays consistent or if it ends on episode one, two, maybe three, maybe 12, maybe 1200. We'll see. But that leads me into my main topic of today, which is storytelling. Now, storytelling is pretty interesting because it is something that I absolutely suck at. I do not know how to storytell at all. I don't know how to tell stories. I don't know how to sequence them properly to set up a good climax for a story. I don't know how to to rise up to the climax of the story and then falling action and and then the resolution of the story. Um, It's interesting because whenever I tell stories in general, I find myself giving away the ending very early on in my stories. And it's very frustrating because it's like, that's not how stories go. You're supposed to lead up to uh, either the the ending or just the, I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> I, it's like I need, I need, <clears throat> excuse me. It's like I need to study storytelling in order to get better at it because it's something that goes along with uh, communication. Um, you know, storytelling and communication, that's, that's how you communicate is through stories. That's how you tell any event that happened in the past. It's just a story. And being able to tell that story, being able to create good visualization for the story for the reader or the listener or whatever uh, it's important to be able to somewhat be able to how to be able to know how to tell stories and so that kind of brings me back to this podcast it's like okay well by doing a podcast I think I will get better at telling stories naturally but then again I'm 21 years old I've I have 21 years of life experience and I still don't know how to tell a story properly uh, I overthink it very frequently. I either overthink it to the point where it just ruins the story and I just don't know what I'm doing, or I just naturally tell the story. I give away the ending too soon, and then it turns out to be something that is like, okay, you gave away the ending like 15 seconds into the story, buddy. Um, nice job. Yeah. So when it comes to storytelling, for me, it's something that I'm going to have to practice. I'm going to have to intentionally practice the art of telling stories, um, creating proper visualization, creating the uh, the proper moments that are important for a story, and just being able to remember all those aspects of a certain story. Because there's different elements to stories. There's like 
you know, this, the classic stories like of you and your friends, like when you're sitting around a campfire or you're just hanging out, it's like, oh yeah, I remember that one time when Jimmy and Johnny, they, you know, did something really stupid and you're able to tell that story uh, to a T. You're able to, you, you have a short form story for that story. You have a, a medium version and you have a long version depending on who your audience is, depending on how much time you have. So many factors go into a great story. And it's like, when it, uh, it's just a lot for someone like me who is just like, yeah, dude, I mean, I, there, there's stories that I've told many times and that doesn't mean I told them well, but I've told them many times and I still would not be able to confidently like relay them to you and hit every single key point of the story because I either forget or I just, uh, yeah, I just don't remember all the key elements. I overthink it and it's just not good. So storytelling is going to be huge for a podcast because podcasts are like, hey, you got to be able to tell stories. You have to be able to tell uh, and talk about certain things that have happened in the past. And obviously talking about the past is something that is talked about a lot. You can either talk about the past, the present, or the future. So uh, it's like if you divide that up equally, that's a third of your conversation is stuff that happened in the past. But when you talk about stories, I mean, you're, that's going to be the bulk of conversation because telling stories about events that have happened, I mean, that's a big part of conversation. So I feel like people either talk about the past and that's number one that they talk about. They either talk about the present or future. I feel like people talk about the future and the present. I don't know. I feel like it's a lot less common for you to talk about those two things than it is the past because I feel like as humans that's how we communicate that's how we convey information and learn from past experiences and so yeah it's interesting uh, storytelling is going to be a big part about or for this podcast and in terms of how frequently I'm going to you know, do this podcast I feel like I have a lot of things to talk about and that I could talk about and that's great. That's honestly so cool. That's, that's honestly very cool that I have a lot of things to talk about, but will I talk about them well? That's a question that only time will tell if I tell them well. So yeah, that, in terms of the storytelling topic, I kind of tied it into this podcast and we'll see how it goes from here. But in terms of what's going to be on this podcast, it could be anything really about anything that's going on in my life, whether it be uh, Christianity whether it be uh, making money online, whether it be current events that are happening in my life, it, it can be about anything. Um, one thing I've, I've learned is that my niche is, is, is me. It's everything that makes me who I am. So it's like if I niche down to one specific sector, like finance, for example, it's like I'm limited on what I can talk about. So basically you can expect anything that's going on in my life that uh, I want to talk about, like, that, that could be expected on this podcast. So stay tuned for more. That's going to wrap it up for this one, though. That is episode one of the Bumpy Podcast. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you stuck around all the way to the end, I really would appreciate your thoughts down below on the podcast and what you can, yeah, just leave me a comment. Just give me your thoughts, you know, make, make bold predictions. You know, how many episodes do you think this is going to last? Only time will tell, right? That's going to wrap it up for this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to wrap it up for this one, though, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Peace.